I'm using here a max object that I made uh, which predicts drum hits, drum timing hits. Um, and it uses a uh, transformer neural network uh, programmed in, the, in PyTorch and included in the max object via LibTorch. So I'm, I'm going to show you in this video just the basics of how to get LibTorch included in a, into a basic min dev kit project. So min dev kit is uh, the current uh, recommended way to develop uh, Max objects, Max externals, uh, if you're using C++. So you can use this guide on my site and follow the, the steps here. And um, I put here links to what, what's needed. So you need CMake, Ruby, and Visual Studio build tools. If you already have Visual Studio installed, you might already have these. But if not, it's easy to just get the build tools. Uh, and I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. So not even, uh, not even um, accessing Microsoft Visual Studio itself. And aside, of, aside from these, of course, you also need to uh, get LibTorch itself. So there's a link for that here. So yeah, get CMake. Uh, yeah. I guess you would use uh, this installer. You have to be careful to get the, the right version for your system. But so this this guide will be for Windows, obviously 64-bit. And uh, yeah, if, if there's an error with any anywhere in this uh, uh, process, then it's more likely than not due to um, some some problem with your configuration so have to make sure that you download the correct thing so as I said for Visual Studio you don't necessarily need if, if you got Visual Studio 2022 so community you, you might already have the build tools installed uh, if not so you can try you can first just just try that if not get these and yeah to get LibTorch just go to LibTorch and if you're using CUDA then uh, select one of these if you just want to do inference on your CPU you can simply get this one so just download the, the release version um, for this case but obviously uh, it's similar for, for debug so in C++ we have debug, debug and release and you have to make sure that you're operating in the right setting for, for each of them so once you've got these uh, we can jump into Visual Studio Code and start our project. So in VS Code, uh, we can open up a terminal. And I use PowerShell. That's my default. You can set it as the default. So first, we need to go into the Packages folder. And as per the instructions, we need to clone the min dev kit uh, code from GitHub. Once that is done, again, we follow the instructions to uh, create our CMake files. So once you've got these configured, you don't really need to build the included um, projects. Of course you can, but you don't need to install, uh, to build the actual objects that come with uh, min dev kit itself. <coughs> so then the next step uh, is from this uh, uh, min dev kit to run the Ruby script to create uh, your new package. Your new max object will live in it in its own uh, max package. I'm calling it min torch but obviously you can use whatever uh, name is appropriate and you'll see if I simply run this create package Ruby uh, I get this strange error so the solution is to just um, call Ruby first and then the create package command so this is all, uh, the address is relative to my min dev kit. And if I tell it to create a package in uh, dot dot, that means go up uh, a directory. So the package will be created right under packages. Now once you have this done, uh, you can safely delete the min dev kit folder that you created, that you cloned, and just work inside your new folder 
I'm just gonna drag it onto the Visual Studio Code um, window. You always need to be careful what project you're in uh, when you're working inside VS Code. So it's best practice is to just have your folder open. Now, when I open this folder, it, it, it immediately detects that I might, wa might want to use one of my uh, build tools, build toolkits to, to build it. And I'm, I'm going to select this one, then 2022 release, 64-bit uh, release version. So release, not debug. But now I can go into source, then projects, and we've already got this Mintorch Hello World CPP um, uh, script, which I'm going to uh, edit directly. Uh, obviously, you can rename all of these. Uh, you would probably won't want your object to be called Hello World, but for our purposes, I'm just going to edit this. And before we do anything, uh, you need to copy the LipTorch folder that you've downloaded. You need to extract it into your uh, package. So it should sit right next to help and source and so on. And now I'm ready to edit the CMake list file, and I'll just copy paste the code from the guide on my uh, web page, which obviously is uh, is included in the video description as well. As I'm as I'm uh, mo making these modifications in CMake list, you can see in the output uh, panel that CMake is reconfiguring, and that should be fine. You can just uh, let it do this uh, in the background. Now you can build uh, by uh, just running this command inside the build subfolder or you can also use the VS Code shortcuts. Um, I'm just going to comment out the unit test for now <coughs> and, make, and I'm going to edit the hello world.cpp just adding this constructor which prints a random tensor when I create the object. And as you can see right now, I'm, I've still got my CMake in debug mode, which is uh, a problem. That's why I'm going to get this error, because there's an incompatibility with the debug mode from CMake and the release mode uh, of FlipTorch that I downloaded. So what I first need to do in order to eliminate any errors uh, is to copy the DLL files uh, from the libtorch lib folder into support. So here you are inside libtorch lib. I'm just going to select all the DLL files and drag them into uh, the support folder. So Max knows it's, it's, it's kind of the default uh, place for uh, where pa packages uh, hold the uh, DLL libraries that Max will need. So I need to set from CMake, I need to set release. I was also getting these um, these errors, these linker errors, simply because I'd, uh, I'd messed with uh, my CMake list file with the order of uh, linking and adding and including so try to to maintain this order right here so that's just uh, something else to pay attention to always just configure everything in release mode unless unless obviously you want to do debug uh, when you in, in which case you need both versions of the libraries in, in inside your project so again, I need uh, all the DLLs in my support folder. And now when I run max, it will see the DLLs and I can make my object. And here we have the random tensor that I needed. That's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back with uh, some videos about dealing with the uh, musical time series and transformers in PyTorch and yeah how you might uh, use them to make a reactive max object.